first of all, I, I would just like to say thank you so much. I feel extremely privileged and humbled that anyone should even consider me, let alone actually uh, awarding me with anything. So um, I have been bowled over by it and excited and I'm very, very grateful. So thank you. Vilma, on the basis of what's been written about you and your generosity and encouragement to make music part of the lives of so many people, which of the many things you've contributed to the musical life of Coventry has given you the greatest pleasure? Um, in many ways, it's difficult to single out, but I think overall, um, I have to say it's the Tapestry Singers Choir. Uh, this was a choir that evolved after I retired from um, work at the Performing Arts Service. I just carried on doing it for 10 years voluntarily. And always my philosophy has been, it's not only about the music and the singing, but it was always about the social interaction and mutual support given by the members to each other. And that model has continued in the current Ashira singers that I'm leading. Which of the groups have you established and helped to thrive over the years? I had the privilege in my work in community education to set up a lot of beginner guitar groups. That was the core of my work. And it was led by volunteer tutors as well as myself. Um, and some of these tutors went on to, to paid employment with performing arts service in Coventry and to gain qualifications in other areas of life. And a few years before leaving community education and working part time for the performing arts service, I helped to develop a music program for adults with learning difficulties. Um, and that was most rewarding and continued after I left. I'm very, very pleased indeed that you have been nominated for this award this year and even more delighted that the Lady Hilary Groves Prize is coming to Vilma Weaver. On behalf of our board and members, we wish you every possible success in your future music making. Thank you, Vilma. Thank you.